Okay, so Tesla stock is finally trading outside its congestion area, as it is losing its key support level after triggering a bull trap over here. So Tesla is reversing the previous bullish sentiment, and it seems it wants to seek lower levels. There are some support levels that we should keep in mind, and as long as we don't see a clear, amazing bullish reversal structure, Tesla is supposed to seek these support levels. In this video, you will learn in detail all the key points you should watch from here. My name is Nathan and you are welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. Let's start our analysis on Tesla stock looking at the 1-hour chart. In the 1-hour chart, it is quite a shame that Tesla simply failed miserably in breaking its resistance area over here made by this purple trend line and made by the 21 exponential moving average over here, we fail it in breaking this dual resistance area. What's more, we lost the previous support level the, at 187 and it feels like we are just resuming the bearish sentiment. So far, the short term bias is still bearish. Tesla is still doing lower highs, lower lows under its 21 EMA, not doing any meaningful bullish reaction. In the daily chart, the situation gets a little bit more serious because Tesla is doing a downwards breakout from this bullish flag. Uh, we are losing this support level. Remember, a bullish flag, usually, most of the time, when we see a bullish flag, we see an upwards breakout. But this is not a rule. Sometimes we may see a downwards breakout. In addition to this downwards breakout from this bullish flag, we see a head and shoulders chart pattern getting triggered. This is quite problematic because either way, seeing this breakout from both chart patterns indicate that the trend is reversing. What's more, we are trading below the 21 EMA right now, so okay. Tesla is trying to reverse the bullish sentiment. It is engaging a bearish momentum. What's more, for the first time since Tesla started its rally on January 6, we are doing lower high, lower low. Now, this situation could reverse. Yes, it could reverse, but only, only if we see a crystal clear reaction on the indices. I mean, the S&P triggered a very strong top sign over here and right now it is just crashing. We don't see any meaningful bullish reaction. The Nasdaq index uh, is doing a similar pattern. It did a shooting star candlestick pattern two days ago. It did trigger this shooting star. Right now we are just at the 21 EMA. If the Nasdaq index founds a support level around its 21 EMA and, and if it does a crystal clear bullish reversal reaction in this support level, then okay, Tesla will have decent chances of reversing the trend. Either way, it is very important to see it closing above the 187 again in order to frustrate this bearish sentiment. Otherwise, Tesla will just remain bearish because right now I am convinced that Tesla is bearish because remember my dear friends, sometimes people say that I am bullish, <laughs> which is just stupid. I am never bullish, I am never bearish. Tesla might be bullish, Tesla might be bearish, but I am just a guy, I am just a retail trader sharing my thoughts, sharing my TA on Tesla stocks. So Tesla right now is bearish and only a very strong bullish reaction will frustrate this thesis right now. Do we see any meaningful bullish reaction? No. So in theory, Tesla is supposed to retest the next support levels. Yes, this is a very dangerous and complex moment, but if you want to protect yourself against moves like this, check the anti-fragile newsletter to keep in touch with our options strategies. Don't be fragile, become anti-fragile. The link to my website is in the description of this video. Join the top 5% community. Now, back to Tesla chart. What are the next support levels that Tesla would seek uh, in this scenario? Since we are bearish right now, in theory, there are a few support levels. First, 
there is the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement at 173, 174 in this area over here. So Tesla could easily drop more uh, 4%, 4.5% to retest this support level. And if it finds a real support around this retracement, if it does a very strong bullish reaction, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe Tesla will, could trigger a buy signal. Right now, Tesla is not a buy. Ideally, in my humble opinion, again, this is my humble opinion, it would be great to see Tesla drop into the 146 again, because the 146 is at the same time the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement and the gap area, the gap support level over here at 146. So this area over here is quite interesting, is quite uh, symbolic for Tesla because if Tesla triggers a bottom sign in this area, it would be a bottom sign above a dual support level made by the gap, made by the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. So ideally, it would be great to see Tesla drop into this dual support level. This is the strongest support level on Tesla. I think it would not be easy to see Tesla losing this dual support level, but uh, either way, we have the 38.2 and the 50% retracement to work as a future support level if Tesla actually keeps dropping. Right now, if you ask me, oh Nathan, is there any chance that Tesla could avoid this scenario? Again, of course there is, because in the weekly chart, we are still around the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement in the weekly chart. From this top to this bottom, this is the first retracement, which Tesla completely ignored a couple of weeks ago on January 30 over here. And we just retested the 50% retracement, and right now it is showing some weakness. So there is a tiny chance that this key point could work as a support level, uh, but uh, either way, it is important to see it is important to see meaningful bullish reactions on the indices as well in order to clearly reverse this pessimism on Tesla stock right now. The situation is not easy, but of course, I will keep you guys updated every single day on this channel. So if you are a non-subscriber and you are still watching this video, come on, you like it, the content, subscribe to this channel, click on the like button to support me. Thank you very much for your audience, my dear friends. Stay safe. Bye-bye.